ESAC girls 4x400 relay team joining us up here at the state tournament today. We're going to start off with Jenna Peters here today. Jenna, um, how did it feel out here today? Um, it's cooled off a lot, which is a good thing. I don't know. It's tiring as always. Now, I got to ask you, you were telling me kind of got a crazy situation of how this started for you girls. Yeah, so we were like, he told us we had like the 4 by ones and then like 20 more minutes during the 4 by 4 to warm up. And we came down here, warming up. I ran in the bathroom quick, came back out, and they're like yelling at me. Like, I had to run, put on my shoes and ran all the way up there to get in my blocks right away because we actually were before the boys' 4 by 4 And we were not notified of that. <laughs> <laughs> how much did that impact you? I just didn't really have time to really warm up. I didn't get to do any like actual running. I stretched, but that was it. And I mean... I was only in the mindset because I came out and put my shoes on and just sprinted all the way up here and set my blocks. Did you feel like you got out of the blocks and ran okay? Um, I'm not really that good at blocks, but I felt like I was just running. I was kind of mad because we didn't know, and I didn't really get to think about it too much. I was just kind of still thinking about the situation now. We were late and whatever. Did the anger help you run? No, it's still hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I just it had to give me something to think about, I guess. But How'd your handoff go with Shay? Fine. We're pretty good at 4 by 4 handoffs, not too hard. <laughs> yeah. Talk about this team. Talk about senior year down here at State. We were really happy to qualify. This is last year. We didn't really stack the 4 by 4 until districts, so we didn't really know. We were totally winging it the night of, and we made it, so we were really happy about that. What's it been like to be down here again this year? It's great. I mean, we just love being down here. You know, the atmosphere, it's great to run in, and just, it's a good way to finish your year. Well, I tell you what, it's been a lot of fun, Jenna. I appreciate it. Going to miss you guys down here. It's been every year, I think. I'm sure I'll be back watching Jay next year. Absolutely. Jenna Peters running again. Let's talk now to Shay Bloom. And Shay, uh, talk about the 400 thrown together late, and today you guys kind of got the late notification. Yeah, well, I was nervous going into it, but once I started running, I just tried my hardest, and I tried to catch those girls at the end, but I just couldn't catch them. What was it like running for you today? Did you feel like you were able to kind of run the strategy you wanted? Um, I don't, I'd like to see my time to see what I did run. I felt good, but I don't know if it was like... Where did, where did you feel like you were at your best? Um, probably the last curve, and I feel like I had a little kick within that last 100 I tried, but have very much left in me. When do you normally try to kick? Is it right in that area? Uh, well, my first 200 and then the first 100, but I didn't do that today. <laughs> Shay, what's it been like for you senior year? You're here at State. It's been awesome, especially last year not qualifying. And this year I was excited to come in two different events. <laughs> Which event? I know the answer to this. Which event do you like more? <laughs> Definitely the shuttle hurdle. What is it with the shuttle hurdle? Um, I just think because the girls, and I've been hurdling all, like, I was just throwing the 4x4 four four this year, the last few meets, so it's not really something I run, but the shuttle hurdle is definitely one that I love, because I feel like I've just been doing it for so long. Greatest memory uh, out of state in all your years? Um, probably this year, definitely, running two events with some of my good friends. Well, Shay, it's been a lot of fun. You're going to miss you guys down here, so congratulations. Thank you. Let's move over now to Catherine Drost. And Catherine, not your last event of the tournament. You've got uh, the state track meet coming up tomorrow yet, but how was the 4x4 for you today? It felt very good. I was excited with the weather because it wasn't too hot, and it's not cold like our track meets have been, so it was just perfect, and I was excited to run in it. Uh, now, you were part of that confusion as far as when you guys were able to run. Running that third leg, did that kind of let you settle in a little bit, even though you weren't probably as prepared as you wanted I to be? Was, I was nervous, too, and I got it, yeah, I kind of got settled down a little bit, but I was just worried that Jenna wasn't going to make it, so I was like thinking maybe I should run the first and let her settle down because she wasn't back in the bathroom. It was just crazy, but I'm glad we, we got it together. We did good. How quickly did you girls get it together then? Um, they had both of the first and second runners lined up down here, and they were lined up the third runner, and I'm the third runner, so they were the girls hadn't been down here yet when they were here, so they had a run, and it was just it was kind of messy. How close did you come to running down here to become that first runner? Um, I was pretty close. I was thinking about it. She wasn't getting her shoes on. I was about ready to go down. So what are you going to do tonight to prepare for your 800 tomorrow? I'm going to hopefully go and get some good rest so I can be up in the morning and ready to run it. Well, I'll tell you what, Catherine, I've had a lot of fun looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's move over to that anchor leg here. Uh, the only non-senior uh, yeah. in the group, Jalen Peters. And Jalen, what was today like? It was all right. It was hot, but we got through it. 
How'd you feel during your part running that ankle? Like, I think I did a little better than yesterday. I'm not sure what my split was, but I'm hoping better. Did you use some of yesterday as kind of part of your strategy for today? Yes, I knew I had to get that faster 200 because that's what I said. I knew like a faster like by like one second or something, so I just took off as fast as I could. Did this group set a goal for itself here in the 4x4? Four, four four? Um, we were just trying to get into the finals, which we got close, but yeah, that was mainly what we wanted. Talk about getting to run with these three seniors down here and your sister. What's the biggest thing you might miss about this group? Um, just all the fun times we had, and they always, they always, they always are making me laugh and everything. I'm really gonna miss them. Well, I tell you what, Jalen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you much. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you again next year. Yep.